All right, Cedric, Patrick, this is Daniel Yam, long time reply guy of the show. Just going to try this one out on the, the old speak pipe just to say I have. And uh, if I don't like it, I'm never doing this again. Got a question for both of you as I'm walking home from the train station. Patrick, you like burn. Seems like you do at least. Um, how many barbarian rings are you starting in your modern deck once MH3 comes out? Are you close to leaning closer to one copy or four copies? Also, um, do you think the new red white elder giant, uh, Uro, but instead of uh, rampant growth and just lightning helixes, uh, it's going to be playable in that deck, maybe even as a one of? I'm not sure. Seems like a lot of mana, but I don't know. Seems pretty good in that sort of deck. Cedric, last episode of Unsleeved. I was kind of listening passively while doing some work, and then suddenly you said there were no black Kithkin, and that just really caught my attention. May I direct your attention to Mirror Weave? Don't know what I'm trying to say is uh, in that most of the Shadow Moor and uh, Eventide Chithkin seem to have a darker skin, skin tone compared to the Law and Walk. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Also, it seems like everyone and their mom has a Mirror Weave story from back in the day. Do you guys have any? All right, I'm out of here. It's raining really hard. Bye. All right. Great job by Daniel Yam. Great job. I'm telling you, the speakeasy feature is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Or speak pipe, excuse me. Okay. Uh, so what did he ask you? Oh, Barbarian burn. Ring and Burn. Barbarian Ring and then the new Boros Bozo. Uh, that light, you know this card? Yeah. The like. The in. Helix uh, Uro, right? Yeah. Do you think any of these make modern burn? Um, I don't know. I've never, I've always been like a Barbarian Ring hater. You, you really have been. But that was also in. Most of the time that I could have played that card, it was in formats with Wasteland. It's a very different calculation now. Sure. I would be really surprised if I wanted something like that more than just another fiery islet if you had space for that sort of thing. Okay. But I, would, I guess I wouldn't rule it out. And also it kind of depends on like the more, you know, core firewalkers and whatever else are floating around in people's sideboards. Like that's a case for a Barbarian Ring too. So that's, you know, hard to answer it abstractly. As far as the... As far as the Uro goes, you can get a lot for four mana is one thing. And second, even if you wanted something like that in the, like, let's say for the mirror, is that just better than core firewalker or, or sanctifier or whatever? Yeah. You can get a lot. If you're looking to be that directed, you can get cards that are a lot better um, for less mana. And if you're looking for something um, more broad, I think there's just higher rate cards floating around. I guess I'm skeptical. All right. Mirror weave stories. Uh, first of all, I'm skeptical about if these Kitkin from Shadow or whatever are black or just tan, but I digress. Mirror Weave stories. Got two of them. One, playing in a PTQ. May have told this story up once before. Playing in a PTQ in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm playing Fairies. It is, uh, what's the Kitkin block? Uh, Lorwyn block. I think, yeah, Bitter Blossom is legal too. Dex busted. Um, I win my last match. Uh, actually, I beat Todd Anderson playing for top eight. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing, and I've won my match to get in top eight all i need is for christopher anderson to win next to me mm -hmm. he's playing uh he's playing merfolk and his opponent's playing kithkin i believe yeah is how it went that's exactly how it went and chris's draw is just like you know silver gill adept marrow regery you know like he's just kind of like yeah doing his humming. thing yeah he's humming and chris just looked at me he's like dude i got this you're in and then the opponent is just kind of doing stuff with Spectral Procession and everything and just goes like, all right, attack, no blocks, mirror weaver regery, kill you. And it's like, God damn it, Chris. Like, you started talking all this shit about how you were going to win mm -hmm. and now you're dead. And like, Chris is the look on his face, like the one mirror weave. He's just like, ah, I didn't, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You know, he may have had like a leech bonder and some other bullshit. Like, he could have just played the game differently. Yeah, sure. And just gets nuked out of the game by playing the regery instead of playing maybe leech bonder or whatever the card was at the time. So I remember that. Got ninth place. And then Tim Ayton, Tim Ayton just asked me to show it. He's like, you ready to drive back to Ohio? And I'm like, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. In his very uh, monotone way of doing things. And we sang death tones and a bunch of other uh, stuff on the way home. So that's one. So uh, you ready to get out of here? Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so go home then. <laughs> <laughs>